So welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners and today I'm going to show you a quick trick in vacuum sealing some of the products that you can't normally vacuum seal. If you take sugar or flour or something, put it inside your vacuum sealed bag, throw it in your machine and hit the button, oh lord are you looking for a mess. You're going to look like a ghost if it's the flour. Remember this folks, you don't have to have an oxygen absorber and put in here. If you choose, you would like to. There is nothing stopping you. If it makes you feel better, you feel it's going to last longer, whatever it makes you feel or however it makes you feel, please do it that way. Okay, folks. So when you get the, when I get your bag out, take and open up your bag. Now, I'm going to do the whole thing of salt. It's one pound of salt. As you can see here, it's just one pound of iodized salt. I'm going to pour it right in my bag. Now you could break this up if you would like. You could do a uh, half a pound and a half a pound. All right, so there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to the top here, folks. I'm going to fold this top over right here. All right. You don't want to fold it way down here. You want to have room for the product to spread out a little bit. And you'll see why in just a second. So turn on your food saver and then you want to get yourself a bag. All right. So we're going to take that out to about there. Put this down. Now I have my bag. Now, on my bag, now you can write with your Sharpie, you can write on here or you can write on here. So I'm just going to put one pound, abbreviate, iodize, salt. Once you got that on there, your vacuum sealed bags, all right, you're going to have this smooth side that I just wrote on, and you're going to have this rough side. The rough side goes down when you put it inside of your container. So if you always remember to write on the, the nice smooth side, just remember, it needs to face you when you put it into your vacuum sealer. Now you take your salt. And place our salt in here, just like so. And now what I want to do is try to hold this right here and let the salt spread out just a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now. We're going to come up, insert it into your vacuum sealer. Make sure it's on the dry setting because mine has a dry and a moist. Make sure it's on dry setting. And once you get it to where it needs to be, hit the button. Now I know that's noisy, folks, so that's why I muted that part out for you. All right. Your little light here shows it's sealing. You'll hear it release here in a second. There it goes. And now we have a perfectly good seal. This thing is like rock solid. You see that? Now, what we do is you take your handy dandy bucket, toss it inside. 